Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing. Um, how do I explain this? This was sent to me to review from Galen Leather and they are a company in the country Turkey. And this is the Medic bag. So I'm just gonna do a quick unboxing, first impressions, and I don't know, I'm pretty excited. This company is newer to me, but their quality seems to be out of this world. So let's jump into it. Let's jump in. Okay, let's see. I think I'm just gonna tear it open. in there we got some bubble wrap what I recall about this company is that their packaging is phenomenal I have one item from this company that I purchased and I'll show you that later in the video it's the um, iPad mini portfolio pad folio and I was blown away by their packaging then so it's exciting to share this with you on the camera Let's see, let's get the right side up. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Can you take that in for a minute? They're so thoughtful. Writer's medic bag. And I'm an artist, and I feel like this is going to be perfect for my uh, watercolor supplies. And that's what I hope to show you today. Okay. Let's take the cover off. Writer's medic bag. Um, I'll hold this up. You can pause it and read it if you'd like. Okay, so we have a dust bag. Okay, this is kind of the fun part I want to show you. All right, so in here at the bottom was our story. Uh, you can screenshot that if you'd like. Uh, the Evil Eye. This is another bit of literature they sent. Okay. Oh, a 10% off coupon. Can I share this with you guys? I'll check with the company, but if I can, here you go. So here we go, we have a postcard from Turkey. I don't know how to say that. Um, it looks like a mosaic. Just a cool illustration there. And what is this beautiful thing? Are these stamps? Well, I don't even know about this. They're like maybe collectible stamps um, that you can use. Let me make sure I'm in frame that you can use like in your scrapbook. Oh my goodness, look at this detail. And you saw they were extra big, so here's my hand for scale. This is what I'm saying, last time when I got this package for my other item, it was just so thoughtful and fun and I don't know, you're expecting your product and then you get all these other fun side um, gifts. Okay, so a little pouch. And let's untie this. I think I know what this is. Oh yeah, okay. So we have, um, oh, <laughs> a refreshing towel. Why not? And I got this last time. Turkish coffee. Turkish coffee, look at that. How fun is this? And anything else? Oh yeah. I guess last time it wasn't Turkish tea, it's Earl's Grey tea. I don't know. And then it comes with this little uh, drawstring and you can find a million uses for something that small. All right, let's move the box and stuff out of the way. Here we go. Look at that. Oh, it's got 
Um, some D-rings back here. They're actually just rectangles. A loop here. I'm sure we'll learn more of why. I know this is in the color... I want to say Crazy Horse saddle color. Um, let's just zoom in on that. And this lovely light that we're having. What do you guys think? It smells... It smells good. There's, it, it's a true leather smell, a little bit of like a, I don't know what to call it. Uh, maybe like the um, conditioner they use on it. I smell that a little bit, but it really has a nice aroma. Very nice. And then on the top, okay. So let's open it up. Opens from a, a nipple rivet there and then pulls up. Oh, and it's already kind of soft, unlined. Full grain leather, if I haven't mentioned that already. Oh, look, it just kind of opens up. Let me adjust you here. Okay, I repositioned you a little bit so you can see more. This is the bag opened up. Spin you around. The inside color, so that's the inside, is uh, much more um, saturated in color. dust bag out of the way okay let's keep playing with what it can do right here I see like some magnets let's does that does that hold right here oh yes it does very strong same on this side I like that um, these pockets are a felt a felt soft material they're not leather um, and we have one, two, three, four, and then a zipper, nice and smooth, let's see what kind of zipper it is, no, um, and then a pocket back here, that's nice, and then we have a lot of holders for whatever you'd like, um, their Instagram page is amazing and inspiring. And even if you follow the hashtag Galen Leather, that also is really cool to see other people use their products. But a lot of people who collect pens will um, use these products for their stationery sets. And these two are a different size than the remaining ones. Here's another elastic band. Um, and then here is a a key catcher, which actually could just be taken off and used on your other bags. Pretty neat. Oh, what's this? Oh, a little, um, another keychain that says Galen Leather Co. And then back here is, oh, here we are. This is, I'm guessing, for those D-rings on the back. For transportation. Uh, back here we have some storage. Uh, I don't know. So what I want to do is I want to play off camera of like how I'll fill this up with all my art supplies and get back to you on just kind of what I'll use it for. Um, we open it up, flip it open, and we'll start in the back. We have a blue um, watercolor sketchbook. This was just me doing some swatch studies and... That fits nicely in the back. The next thing in the back is my watercolor palette. I have a couple. This one's plastic, so it's gonna be light. Um, all filled up, well loved. This is a really cool water cup. Um, the top comes off and then it fully opens and stands really nice. I like the volume of water that can go in there as well as the fact that it is has a top to keep extra liquid at bay and it's super narrow and then in the back this is something about the bag you know if you're going to use it for art i wanted to point out the paint brushes um, mine are too tall for these slots um, i did see that they had one medic bag that's uh w one size larger than this and i wonder if this dimension will work better for paintbrushes. 
So all I did is, um, this is just one of those really cheap canvas wraps. I cut it down because this is all the brushes I actually need for a painting. I don't need to fill up the whole roll. So I just cut it down um, to the size I needed. And I lay it on the bottom here. And all these supplies still fit in the back. Just load it up for fun. Okay. And then in the front here, again, we have a pencil, ruler, um, just a white pen for highlights, a couple micron pen uh, pens, micron. I wanted to point that out. See, it kind of falls a little bit if it's weighted, if there's objects still here in the back. One way to get around that is just keep the top closed while you're working on something, or I, I, I would guess that these things I would guess that these objects can be taken out and it doesn't fall over. Um, we could also put more heavier objects here and it would hold it down. Also in that same slot is a Ziploc bag full of paper towels. Um, when you do watercolor you need, you, need, you always need paper towels close by. We have some spare lead for my pencil, a wax crayon, business cards, and then a, this is another really cool tool. It's super thin, look how thin that is, but it's a metal palette uh, to mix more colors, and the zipper is empty currently. So that's my setup for watercolor supplies. So I did attach the straps on the back, and um, it is long enough for me to wear crossbody. I'll insert photos now of me wearing crossbody. I'm 5'5". Five five. And the straps um, connect with a nipple rivet here. Um, there are some options to lengthen them on either side. I couldn't really figure out what to do with this tab down here. <laughs> you might need to just comment in the right in the comments below and tell me how to use this because I could see it being a backpack but for for me I don't feel like that's enough strap um, this length and this length um, I could be wrong but I'm just not quite sure how to use this piece uh, one thing that came to mind is it could possibly be helpful if you were to attach it to a bicycle um, I've seen some contraption like that before. So maybe that's how they plan to use it. I just plan on using it on my shoulder or crossbody. Thanks everyone for watching this unboxing and first impressions. What do you think for yourself? What do you think about Galen Leather? Wasn't their packaging just out of this world? And I'm just really a big fan of the way the leather feels, the smell, um, how thick the leather actually is. Another zoom in. Um, it's been a great experience so far, and I'm just also such a fan of the iPad Mini portfolio. Um, they have so many other items on their website, and be sure to check them out. Let me know if you end up getting anything, what color, and uh, share your experience. Be sure to follow me on the Instagram, The Perfect Leather Bag and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.